Hello everyone. I'm going to review the three common calculus removal strokes. The first being the vertical stroke. So the vertical stroke is as you are up underneath the piece of calculus, you're moving your instrument from apical to coronal up and down like so. And you want these strokes to be short controlled strokes. And as hygienists, we like to know the definition of short. So I tell my students one to three millimeters, and you want these strokes to slightly overlap each other as you move across the two surface. So here is our vertical stroke, short biting stroke. And then we often use the horizontal stroke. For the horizontal stroke, you're going to go tip towards the sulcus, and you're going to move horizontally against the tooth. Short biting stroke. Tip down, coming across the tooth in short biting strokes. The third common calculus removal stroke we use is an oblique stroke. So you're gonna start and you're gonna go across the tooth in an oblique motion. So here is the oblique stroke. So we have vertical, horizontal, and oblique. Those are the three commonly used calculus removal strokes. Remember, to be effective with your calculus removal, you have to have enough lateral pressure in order to remove that piece of calculus away from the tooth. So you want to push against that tooth underneath that piece of calculus and then using your wrist activation, like opening a door, you're going to pop that piece of calculus off. So you're going to go through and wrist activation, wrist activation, wrist activation, short biting strokes. Same thing with horizontal, same. I'm using wrist activation with all three of these strokes. So here's my wrist, here is the vertical, here is the horizontal, and here is the oblique, all wrist. 